Hey everyone, I wanted to make a really quick video to talk about something that I saw on Twitter today that a lot of us are seeing that completely ruined my day. I was having a perfectly, you know, fine day. I was running errands, trying to get stuff done. And then I decided to tune into, you know, Twitter and see what's happening. And then I see a video posted by the Sunrise Movement where literal children, about a dozen, maybe 15, had confronted Senator Dianne Feinstein and asked her why she isn't deciding to support Senator Ed Markey and Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's Green New Deal resolution. And what you're about to see here is mind-blowing. It it totally fucked up my day and ruined my mood. You're going to see a billionaire basically talk down to literal children in a condescending way as they ask her to please do something so that way they don't die when they're older due to catastrophic climate change. You're going to see her be unbearably smug. So this is what Sunrise tweeted out. This is how Senator Feinstein reacted to children asking her to support the Green New Deal resolution with smugness and disrespect. This is a fight for our generation's survival. Her reaction is why young people desperately want new leadership in Congress. This is mind-blowing, so uh, let's watch. are trying to ask you to vote yes on the Green New Deal. Oh, please. Okay, I'll tell you what. We have our own Green New Deal. Some no, scientists don't. have said that we have 12 years to turn this around. Well, it's not going to get turned around in 10 years. What we can do Senator, if is this put doesn't get turned around in 10 years, you're looking at the faces of the people who are going to be yeah. living with these Guess consequences. What? The government and is supposed to be for the people and by the people and all you know what's people. interesting about this group is I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. You come in here and you say it has to be my way or the highway. I don't respond to that. I've gotten elected. I just ran. I was elected by almost a million vote plurality. And I know what I'm doing. So, you know, maybe people should listen a little bit. I yeah, hear what you're true. saying, but we're the people who voted you. You're supposed to listen to us. That's your job. How old are you? How old I'm are 16. You, I well, can't vote. Well, you didn't vote. vote for me. Well, she, I'm she voted. It doesn't matter. We're the ones well, who are going to be impacted. It doesn't matter. We're going to be the ones who are impacted. Yeah. Yeah. You I understand that. You I, have you you I understand that. I have seven grandchildren. I understand it very well. Senator, the cost of not taking this action is far higher than the cost of what the Green New Deal will be. And there is enormous popularity for this bill around okay. the whole country. Here's and we're asking you to be brave proposing. and do this for us can and you for your grandchildren. Sure. Get enough for okay. I'm trying to do the best I can, which was to write a responsible resolution. Any plan that, that doesn't take bold, okay. transformative okay. action is not going to be what we need. We well, need your you know better than I do. So I think one leadership? day you should run for the Senate. Great. And we then you do it your you. way. But by yeah, that time, in the meantime, by that time, there's gonna I be just, a big problem. I just we won a, a big for election. Yeah, that was unbelievable. Oh well, if you don't like the way that I'm government governing, why don't you get old enough and then run for the Senate? <laughs> what do you even say about this? What do you even say? What a disgusting, morally reprehensible human being Diane Feinstein is. And I love how she threw in the, oh, well, I care. I have seven grandchildren. Um, you're a billionaire. It doesn't matter. Because even if your grandchildren may see catastrophic levels of climate change, your money will be able to buy them whatever lifeboat humanity creates that will get the rich and privileged few, you know, off on some island or fucking spaceship that will allow them to survive. But everyone else, the children who you're condescendingly talking down to, they're not going to have that option. And I love how they told her the facts that we have 
10 years to act and she says oh well we can't get it done in 10 years yeah well we don't have a choice because the planet doesn't take into account the deficit or spending or political will or which global leaders are currently elected to office it just fucking does what it's going to do that's the way that mother nature works and she just completely writes it off oh no i'm, I'm writing my own green new deal it's a more responsible i.e incrementalist solution to climate change again this is literally a life or death situation incrementalism will not fix this issue we're dealing with an impending climate catastrophe and she's sitting here talking about you know her incrementalist approach and we can't go with the green new deal because it's unrealistic it's unrealistic so what other plan has been proposed that's as bold that's as transformative that aims to actually take on climate change in a meaningful way because if it doesn't meet the deadline that scientists said we have to meet then guess what those children who you just talked down to their adult years are going to be fucking apocalyptic hellscapes but again diane feinstein doesn't care she is 155 years old she i think she'll be 90 by the time she finishes out her current term in the senate she's not gonna deal with catastrophic levels of climate change she's not going to see florida underwater she's not going to see wars over water and mass migration as people lose their homes because where they're currently living becomes uninhabitable because the temperatures are so hot but she doesn't care i mean i i, I just i'm stunned by this and you have conservatives like ben shapiro saying oh wow i love this so congratulations, Diane Feinstein. Now the far right really likes what you're doing because you're scolding, scolding little children um, who just want to not die. <laughs> I mean, you got to live out a really long life of privilege. You're a billionaire. She's worth $94 billion herself. Her husband is worth an estimated billion dollars. So you had a really long, luxurious, privileged life. And these children who are literally begging you to take action so that way they don't fucking die. You just yell at them. I've been doing this for 30 years. <sighs> what a disgusting human being you are. What a selfish human being you are. Everyone should be outraged and Diane Feinstein should feel ashamed of herself. I don't know how she doesn't resign in shame after this video goes viral because that is despicable. To talk down to children who are fighting for their future and fighting for their lives like that. Disrespectful, disgusting, and regardless if you want to believe it or not, you do represent those children, Diane, even if they didn't vote for you. Because we live in a goddamn democracy. Imagine if Donald Trump said, you know what? And he pretty much says this, so this is Trumpian. But imagine if Donald Trump said, I actually didn't get votes from liberals, so fuck liberals. You would be outraged. You'd be saying, well, you know, you're still the American president. Well, you're the Californian senator. You're a United States senator. So it doesn't matter if they're not old enough to vote for you. Their parents pay your paycheck their tax dollars fund you in part so you do represent them and they are your constituents but she doesn't see it that way because it's diane feinstein and she is a rich oligarch who is absolutely smug and just a disgusting morally reprehensible human being who is an objectively bad person because if you're not taking seriously an existential threat to humanity and the planet itself then you are a bad person if that doesn't make you a bad person then nothing else will how disgusting to to treat these children that way who are afraid of climate change unreal diane feinstein i mean jesus christ